is the outstanding game of the shots. Here's Mark Green to the pitch. The match official is the players of Winking and Asia Tan. This afternoon's teams line up as follows, starting with our visitors from this afternoon, all the shop town and world can stand together to remember Marvin, and we would like to invite all supporters to join us in a minute's applause in his memory, which will start and end on the referee's whistle. game this afternoon, Dawkins have taken the lead against Haven. Cross comes in from the left uh, and it's half cleared. There may be a shot come in from distance here. It skids into the ground and then it is taken down low to his left by Laurie Walker. John, did you see who got the shot away? I think it was Campbell. It was Effion who was causing a problem with his height and strength in the air and that's something Woking need to try and capitalise on. Need to get the ball to Effion. He's not the best at hold-up play, but he is a threat in the air, so you need to get around him. Champion to Tommy Block on the right-hand side. Quick early ball into Tavern Campbell, who's going one-on-one -on -one against Phillips. Phillips holds up. Oh, cross comes in, and Max Kretschmar stretching underneath the ball a little, could only head it well over the bar. But he was only six, seven yards out, John. Why do you have done better? Most definitely. And uh, for Woking, well, it's as we thought before the game kicked off, John. Craig Ross in goal, Annesley McNerney and Champion in the back three. As hang on, here comes Alfie Whittingham bombing straight through the middle. Across to Berkeley Adjupon, shoots over the bar. And Aldershot, who didn't muster an effort on goal in the opening 45 minutes, have had one in the first 30 seconds of the second half, John. Well, a poor play from Woking, really bad start to the half, confusion and muddle at the back, giving the ball away. Well, certainly Aldershot really haven't put them under anywhere near enough pressure, just playing with one up top. Anderson's lost the ball here, he's lost out to Berkeley Adjipon, he's got a little bit of space through the middle, he's looking to go past McNerney now, and the referee hesitates, but he as Adjipon goes down, he does give the kick. And this, for the first time today, is a free kick within striking distance. But Kinsella is going to step up, strikes it, and... Uh, well, it's saved away to his left by Ross. He almost wondered if he could have caught it, but he ended up pushing it round the post. He should definitely have caught it, Rob. Yeah. He had a clear sight of it, and it's given away a needless corner. Calming down a little bit now. Kinsella steps forward, left-footed. In comes the corner, and the head. Header comes in from Corey Jordan over the bar, and I guess in terms of an effort on goal from where he was, it was about as good as... Uh, uh, Kretschmar's in the first half. He was, <laughs> and indeed, like Kretschmar in the first half, he should have done better there because it was a free header. He got up, got a decent connection on it, but he just couldn't get it on target. Throw in down the line for Woking, finds Kretschmar. Kretschmar loses out. Well, Saunders wins the ball cleanly. Well, it's been raved red yeah. card. Yeah. Saunders goes to ground, makes clean contact with the ball. Yeah. Uh, and with Kretschmar, Kretschmar's gone down, he's in some discomfort, he's up to his knees now, and referee Daniel Middleton has shown a red to Alfie Saunders, Aldershot Town's first red card of the season in the 54th minute, nil-nil, John Moore. Well, as soon as I saw that challenge come in, it was a red all day long, I'm afraid. You know, it was a lunge, it was out of control, and it's so unnecessary. But they're still very much in this one. McNerney wins it, and then Kinsella's won it. Uh, he goes into the penalty area. Edge of the area. Penalty to 
shot. Right on the edge of the area. Kinsella brought down. The referee thought about it. He's given it. We've got six minutes left plus added time. The shot's down to ten men. Have a chance to take a late lead here. Corey Andrews steps up and smashes it home. High down the middle. And the shots players celebrate in front of the East Bank. And somehow, some way, ten men all to shot town have got themselves a precious lead with four and a half minutes to go until full time here in the Boxing Day derby. Order shot down one, Woking nil. And that's how to take a penalty under pressure. There was never any doubt. He just stepped up and smashed it high down the middle. One nil to the shot. But this one's not done yet. Here's Tavon Campbell holding the ball up with his back to Phillips. He's got the beating of him. He clips the ball into the far post. He's headed away, but only as far as Lofthouse. And Lofthouse hits the ball into the ground. Walker had dived early, had to wait for the bounce, and then scruffily pushed it behind for a corner. In comes the corner from Tyreke Johnson to the near post, headed away by Whittingham. Volley's going to come in from Kretschmar. Bodies on the line, all the shot might have a counter attack. Whittingham plays it to Willard. Willard's got three players chasing him. He's going forward, he shoots. And it hits the post and comes out across the goal from Willard. Hits the foot of the post, rebounds to safety for Woking. Was Whittingham fouled? I don't know, but the referee played the advantage anyway. Oh, my word. Massive chance for Aldershot to put it to bed, but now Woking come again, and this game's coming alive. Here's Lofthouse. He beats Kinsella and Whittingham. Ball comes in. Oh, Kinsella misses his touch. Then he misses the ball. Penalty to Woking. Lewis Kinsella clean missed his clearance and he kicked the man instead. And the one who won the penalty for the shots has now given one away at the other end. Well, Will that be the only punishment? Because Kinsella's on the yellow card in the 94th minute of a minimum of 96. The cards have got a penalty. Kretschmar steps up against Laurie Walker, takes a deep breath and sends him the wrong way. Walker dives to the right. Kretschmar goes just right of centre. And Woking have levelled and they've grabbed the ball. They still fancy they can win this one. Late drama here at the EBB. The shot's taking the lead in the 85th minute. Woking pulling things level in the fifth minute of a minimum of six to be added. Shots one, Woking one. And a great finish there from Kretschmar. Again, under huge pressure, kept his head and drilled it hard and low down the middle. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.